The single most common cause of high blood pressure is a deficiency in the mineral magnesium. Really? Yeah. I couldn't find a single reference supporting the claim that magnesium deficiency is the leading cause of high blood pressure. Poor diet quality is definitely a major factor and low magnesium intake may play a role, but there are other dietary components like sodium intake which are also playing a significant role. And in fact, an estimated 30% of cases of high blood pressure can be attributed to a high sodium intake. The available research also suggests that restricting sodium intake is a bigger lever to pull than increasing magnesium intake when it comes to lowering blood pressure. A meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials found that replacing salt with low sodium salt alternatives could lower systolic blood pressure by nearly 5 points and diastolic blood pressure by nearly 2.5 points. And those are the higher and lower numbers on a blood pressure reading, respectively. On the other hand, magnesium supplementation trials have demonstrated about half the impact on blood pressure. And there are also concerns over getting too much magnesium in the form of supplements. Plus, sodium restriction has been shown to lower the risk of stroke and cardiovascular mortality, which is likely in part due to the reduction in blood pressure. So to reiterate, I couldn't find any evidence suggesting that magnesium deficiency is the leading cause of high blood pressure, and in fact, managing sodium intake seems to be more important, and I would also highlight that there are other variables that may be more impactful than magnesium. These include obesity, physical inactivity, and excessive alcohol intake, to name a few. That's not to say that an insufficient magnesium intake doesn't play a role, but let's not exaggerate things.